Thanks for joining us in this edition of National Focus. I am Prisca Julian. In the headlines, New West Bridge officially commissioned over 300,000 for housing renovations in Pitit Sufria, and residents of Bells Penrise benefit from newly installed water system. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. Child abuse is unacceptable. Child abuse is not cultural, it is criminal. And one child abuse is one too many. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlborough Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Thanks for staying with us. The new West Bridge was officially commissioned on May 1st, 2017, just about one year after ground was broken for construction. Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt has called the new bridge a gateway to the emerging new Roseau. Kimani Seja was at the grand opening last evening and filed this report. It was a scene of excitement in the capital city of Roseau as thousands gathered to witness the official opening of the new West Bridge. The nation's leader expressed contentment that Barbadian Company, NSG Management and Technical Services Limited delivered on its commitment to produce quality work on time. The nation's leader called hiring the company a true test of his government's leadership a political risk. I understand clearly the initial doubt and skepticism of lo some local contractors and craftsmen who feared that there was a significant project going out of the hands of Dominicans. But Minister Blanchard and I met with the principals of NSG and we said to them in clear and precise language, we want you to oversee this project, but we want it done as much as possible by skilled Dominican craftsmen utilizing as much local materials and equipment as possible. This magnificent project completed on budget and within the allotted time has taken road construction and engineering in Dominica to the next level. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that in NSG Management and Technical Services Limited, Dominica has found a new friend and partner in national development. And indeed, a large number of employees on the job were Dominicans. At least 95% of the works on this project was carried out by Dominicans. To be exact, 253 Dominicans were employed on the new Westbridge project. <clears throat> that includes 152 tradesmen, 36 heavy equipment operators, and 65 truck drivers, all under the supervision and management of NSG Management and Technical Services Limited. The Honorable Minister for Public Works, Miriam Blanchard, also praised NSG Management and Technical Services Limited for a timely delivery of the two-lane bridge, which consists of eight external mounted lights and 24 underbridge lighting fixtures. 4.4 meters of wall was also built to protect the rehabilitated St. Johnston's Avenue. She said the new infrastructure is a testament of government's commitment to build a more robust road network under the Build Back Better concept and is also proof of government's commitment to bring employment to its people. All this, she reiterated, was made possible by the Citizenship by Investment program. This $18 million investment that we're here to see in our country is there to create a safer, more resilient and visually appealing infrastructure in the city of Roseau for all Dominicans and visitors to enjoy and would not, and I repeat, would not have been delivered so quickly were it not be for the availability of funds. And we all know the source of these funds, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, citizens of Dominica, thanks to the success of Dominica's Citizenship by Investment Program, 
The Honorable Public Works Minister asked Dominicans to keep their eyes on the price of a modern city of Roseau. Meantime, Honorable Skerritt says the enhancement of the capital city continues as shortly three contracts will be signed for the rehabilitation of the three main streets leading to and from the city. These three roads are the independent streets, the King George V Street and Great George Street, ladies and gentlemen. My dear friends, we are not going to bite more than we can chew at any one time. What we are going to do is to take small bites. But read my lips and understand that the Roseau Enhancement Project shall start this year. And I expect Dominicans and visitors alike to be traversing on a new look, next level road network in Roseau before the magical clock strikes midnight, ladies and gentlemen. More work will also be done with residents and business owners in the capital city as government undertakes the massive project to enhance Roseau. This bridge we are commissioning today is but the first phase of what is earmarked to become the gradual and deliberate modernization of Roseau. It will, all, it will not all be accomplished under my watch, but I am determined to lay and leave the foundation of a new Dominica capital that will not only be the envy of the Caribbean, but the pride and joy of every Dominican resident at home and abroad. Kimani Sejan for GIS News. In more news, residents of Corona, Sylvania, and Despoir now have access to portable water. The water supply system was officially commissioned on Friday, the 28th of April, at Knight's Place in Sylvania. Addressing the ceremony, Honorable Prime Minister and Minister for Finance Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt commended the Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Maho constituency, Rayburn Blackmore, for his tireless efforts in bringing pipe borne water to his constituents. Mr. Blackmore came to me and of course he went to the Minister for Housing to say, look, why don't we amend the contract or create new contracts to allow for the entire communities of Despo, um, Sylvania, and Corona to be included in the water project. And at the time, we did not have the additional sums of money because it was a significant sum. But we gave a commitment that we should proceed based on the request and strong representation of your member of parliament. And in a matter of a few weeks later, the decision was taken to uh, include these communities as part of the housing of, of the water um, project. He believes that this project is a major achievement for Dominica. I felt and I, I still believe that water and people's access to water should not be looked at this had economic investments. Because not having water in these communities you are denying the people a number of opportunities to create wealth for themselves and to maintain high hygienic practices. As in developed countries, countries that are in the top 10 economies of the world, in these countries, there are millions of their citizens who do not have access to water. Millions. And we must not take these things for granted as a small country because there are many parts of the world that are much richer than us, but they are unable to have access to this water. The project, which was expected to be completed in 2015 but was delayed by Tropical Storm Erica, was completed at a cost of $7.5 million. The initial $2.8 million was made available by government in grant form with the balance provided by the Dominica Social Security. The Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Mahu constituency, Rayburn Blackmore, told residents that this project is testament of the level of importance that the government of Dominica places on adding value to the lives of citizens. This Labour Party administration does not attach 
a nominal value to the, the, our life of our people in Dominica. We cherish you, the people of Dominica. The Labour Party is about adding value to your life. And those are the things that we want to talk about going forward, is how do we, as a government and as a people, make Dominica a better place for all of us. He noted, however, that the investment made by government is invaluable. There is no way that huge investment that the WASCO and this government have made into these this three um, areas that I mentioned earlier on, that the investment is going to be recovered. Highly impossible. Why do I say that? When you combine Corona, Despo, and Sylvina, in aggregate, the households are 83. With the additional cost brought about by the passage of Erica, just for Sylvina, Despo, and Corona, the general manager spoke about the global number for the Bell Spend Lives, Lyopat, etc. Water supply, $7.1 million. But for Corona, Sylvina, and their sport, $2.2 million. And $40. The Honorable Minister for Water Resource Management, Reginald Austri, revealed that in light of the partnership between the government of Dominica and Duasco, the residents of these areas will receive free water connection and free water access for three months. General Manager of Duasco, Bernard Etinoff, remarked that this accomplishment brings Dominica one step closer to achieving 100% access to portable water. Today we can all boast of this great accomplishment, which brings near 100% water coverage to all of Dominica and has positioned Dominica well ahead of many nations towards the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals in particular, goal number six, which seeks to ensure access to water and sanitation for all. Notwithstanding the importance and this great accomplishment, I dare say that it has come at a very high cost, well in excess of $7.5 million. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. When you think about it, food is life. That's why people come to Dominica. They don't only come for the waterfall or the scenery or the view, but it's the flavor. Sometimes it is just what they can taste. The flavors that we have here, you can't find anywhere in the world. They are truly unique. I've been in business 17 years, and I see so many guests come and go. My business is to put a smile on their face and something good in their belly. Everything we serve here is local. It comes from all over Dominica, so we get fresh lettuce or vegetable or fish from San Sauver, all our product from the farm. Sometimes go on the farm and help them pick. The uniqueness of the experience is in how authentic it is. I heard the um, taxi driver promoting my plantain chips. I said, that's the best plantain chips I ever have. I don't have to go put on TV. <laughs> Money is not everything, but leaving customer with a smile, friendly service and they will come back. This is the real Dominica. I'm just proud to be a part of it. My name is Maurice Smith. They call me Rudy. Tourism is my business. Welcome back. The Honourable Member of Parliament for the Castle Bruce constituency, Johnson Drago, has committed $325,000 for housing renovations in Petit Sufria. Honourable Drago made the promise at a town hall meeting in that community on April 26. All those of you who have given me your invoices, rest assured that the repairs that we have to do on your houses will be done. We will assist you, we will change your roof, we will fix the house for you, we will change the partition and the sidings. Whatever we've committed to assisting you with, we are going to do that. He explained that these projects will be done in phases. On that phase of 325,000, 36 families of Pidisufwe will benefit on that phase 
of housing renovation. And that's separate from the bathroom program. And finally, this news time, residents of Pitit Sufria will soon see major improvements in their road network. This announcement was made by the Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Castlebrook constituency, Johnson Drago, at a town hall meeting in Pitit Sufria last Wednesday. Under the Secondary Road Rehabilitation Project, $11 million has been allocated for village roads in Dominica. The Castle Bruce constituency received $625,000 of that sum. Three of these projects will be done in Petit Soufrier. Honorable Drago revealed that under the Community Road Enhancement Program, over $100,000 has been allocated for a road to Savan in Petit Soufrier. Mr. Abbott has consented to allow us to pass the road on his land. And I also want to thank the Joseph family by Mr. Dobb. They too have agreed for us to pass the road in their yard, right in their front door. And what we will do, the ravin below, as a matter of fact, that ravin, I didn't even know it was so strong. It was very heavy for Erica. So we will put what is known as a box culvert down at the ravin and um, we will bring the road down into the ravine. Two contracts have been given to execute this project. The Castle Bruce MP stated that the construction of this road will pave the way for further development in the area. Savan is going to open a lot of flat for us. There are persons who want to build their homes down there, so they can go ahead and, and build their homes. There are quite a few belly farmers there who have had to carry that belief on their head for all of that distance coming over. So we, um, we will, um, you will not be able to have to carry this belief on your head anymore. We, we had looked at an area where we were thinking of some small spot, spotting facility. That possibility will reopen itself because we now have motorable road in that area. He also revealed another project that would benefit residents of Lauver Luis in Petit Sufria. I drove down to see the starting of the road for Lower Lai Railway. As you know, about a month and a half ago, I made some funds available for a footpath for Lai Railway, going to meet Upper Lai Railway, going to meet the Elis and so. And um, the funds did part of the project. Very soon, I will make some more funds available to complete the, the footpath, to take it to the road, the main road. Honorable Drago promised to bring motorable roads to Upper Laufer Lewis. I am pleased to report that as of today, Baku was in action, and we are going to bring motorable road for the people of Upper Laufer Lewis. Some of our families they are aging, and then when, if they fall sick, it's going to be difficult to get them to the main road. It's a long walk, and if we can get the road from the southern end and at least the ambulance can go and get somebody who is sick in there. He encouraged residents to continue using the footpath. That's why I'm completing the footpath. So if you're going to the shop and you go in, you walk into church and so on, you'll continue to use your footpath. But if you have somebody who is sick, you have to drop a load, you need to drop some cement, you want to bring in some blocks, your, your family coming to visit you and they're coming with your vehicle, the Castle Bruce MP assured the residents of Petit Soufrier that he would continue to work with them to develop their community. And that's the English segment of the news. Shakira Pierre is next with Creole Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel Creole. Non, moi c'est Shakira Pierre. Lady Pumeme tini kwa celebration kwa gouvernement domni commissioné Paul West Nefla a wozo. Gouvernement dépense 18 million dollars pour bâti pont sala. Pont sala c'est premier phase pour enhancement capital la. Construction pont sala commencé à Aou l'année passée. Pont Nef l'ouest la c'est nécessaire qu'on cyclone Erika te fait ti dommage à ce pont la. Company NHG Management et Technical Services Limited Hot Barbados tenait contre la pour faire travail ça là. Ministre pour Public Works Honorable Miriam Blanchard dit à part qui pont ça là d'autres travail qui pont place à sous trois chemins à Wozo, Independent Street, 
Great George Street et puis King George the Fifth Street. Dominique vini ensemble pour célébrer grand occasion ça là. À d'autres nouvelles, gouvernement Dominique fait un million dollars avec la pour assister musicien. Vendredi, semaine passée, ministre business honorable Roslyn Paul présente check là pour general manager Aid Bank Julia Corbett. Musicien qui paye 2% interest rate et puis ni yon 6 mois temps pour faire premier installement. Quand tout le monde a un budget, dernier budget, le Premier ministre Roosevelt Scary dit qu'il a mis 1 million de dollars à Aid Bank pour musiciens. Musicien, et les gens qui travaillent en musique, artistes aussi. So, Aujourd'hui, là, nous, ces jours-là qui arrivent pour nous faire une banque, l'argent là, nous faisons une handover cérémonie pour mettre un million de dollars. Honorable Paul a encouragé tous les musiciens pour prendre l'avantage, l'autre opportunité là. Nous avons encouragé um, tous les musiciens um, qui servent en business. Um, artistes qui servent, qui ont un business musique, ça qui a um, fait vidéo, qui qui ni musique pour promouvoir musique, um, pour avancer quoi yo, pour pour avantage à million de dollars, à six loans, six six five thousand, um, jika ayon mille aussi, yo ça point éve pour faire cette yo Faire business et travail pour yo ça payer ti loan yo et va avancer koyo um, pour nous ça vendre musique nous tout en la terre. Résident Corona, Sylvina et puis Despor qui bénéficie de un système GLONEF. Va de la semaine passée, yon cérémonie pour place en Sylvina pour commissionner le système GLONEF. Premier ministre, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, qui a primaté le Parlement pour constituer le Mao, Honorable Ribbon Blackmore, pour effort à émettre pour voir le projet de la réalité. Honorable Skerritt dit que le projet de la est un majeur achievement pour Dominique. Le projet de la est pour finir en l'année 2015, mais le cycle Erika a fait dommage pour le système. Le projet de la est fini à valer 7,5 millions de dollars. Ministre Glo, Honorable Reginald Orstri, fait commitment qui résidence hôte ses places là, qui est appelé Connection Glo pour trois mois sans charge. General Manager de Wasco, Bernard Etinov, dit projet ça là, qui mène d'hommes négillons, pas pour ni, yon sans pour sa bon Glo pour toutes. Et puis finalement, résidence hôte petit souffrir qui voit major transformation en chimé en village là. Parole Salah sorti hôte, mam parlement pour constituer si Salah, Honorable Johnson Jago, pendant un town hall meeting à Petit Soufrié, mercredi semaine passée. A bas réhabilitation chimé secondaire, 11 millions de dollars alloqués pour chimé à Dominique, constituent si Cassie Bruce bénéfice hôte 25 000 dollars hôte l'âge à Salah. Trois projets chimé qui est pour place en Petit Soufrié. Plus qui ont 100 000 dollars qui dépensé pour un projet chimé savant en petite souffrière. Des contrats signés pour projet Sala. Honorable Drago dit réhabilitation chimé Sala qui mène développement en village là. Même parlement là a six résidences qui continuent pour travailler pour le pou développement communauté là. Ça c'est tout pour nouvelle accueil. Non, moi c'est chaque repère. Au revoir. Coming up next, some information on Dominica's local government. I love the freedom when I'm out there. Simply put, the worries from shore, none of that out there. And it's my daily bread. I learned it from my dad. My dad is one of the senior guys here who catch the biggest fish around here. And he's top with the red snappers. It's a family thing. I'm the only one fishing right now in the family. Just keeping it going. I enjoy bringing them up, man. <laughs> Sometimes we have a yellow fin tuna, 400 pounds. Man, let me tell you, that's just a joy out there. I enjoy going out there and just rolling the big fish. I don't leave weights, I leave fish. The morning of my fishing trip, I would get up, make a little spice tea. Then I come down here, I have my GPS, which most fishermen are supposed to have that. Normally I prepare the day before, because whenever you go out there, you must have ice. Ice is a must for preservation of the fish. So I always make sure I have everything the day before. My fish represents me, and I bring good quality fish ashore simply because the restaurants themselves, they have to show a quality product. 
tourism and agriculture go hand in hand. That's what I think. We're all connected. It's, it's like a big machine and I'm just so proud to be a part of it. My name is Brandon Carlyle and tourism is my business. This month is recognized as Local Government Month in Dominica. The Department of Local Government and Community Development is the premier regional provider of information, advice and facilitation services in local government and community development. The key functions of the department includes providing oversight and supervision to local authorities island-wide. There are 42 local authorities the Rosa City Council, the Portsmouth Town Council, the Canefield Urban Council, the Kalinago Council, and 38 village councils. The well-decentralized local government system is supported by the field officers in each of the local government districts. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is also available on our YouTube channel 24 hours a day. From all of us here in the GIS News production team, I am Prisca Julian. Thanks for watching. <laughs>